And to your right. Here's John Love in the De Havilland Venom. What would you say, cousin to the uh, the vampire? What was the what was the key difference? A little bit of, uh, I guess, the successor of the vampire has a slightly more advanced wing. Just uh, certainly a shape of the ear, a very, very 1950s uh, shape. This one's actually been acquired from Switzerland. The Swiss were the last people still using the Venom fighter. And they had a, a distinctly unique little pixie nose that it was referred to. And this airplane's kept that pixie nose as a tribute to its operation with the Swiss. But it wears the colour scheme of a, an RNZAF operated Venom. The New, Royal New Zealand Air Force operated a, a squadron of Venoms out of, I think, Tenger, uh, um, RAF Tenger at, uh, in Singapore. From there operated as part of the response to the Malayan emergency. of the performance of the, the Venom. It's not an aircraft that John would be operating off a grass airfield, so for events like classic fighters here at Omaka, he bases the aircraft at a nearby airfield. And in this instance, uh, we're very fortunate to have a spare airport just down the road, which does have a 5,000 foot bitumen runway. So that's perfect for John's operation. manufactured by the de Havilland Aircraft Company in the United Kingdom, one of the most prolific aircraft manufacturers prior to, uh, well, prior to the jet, the DH-9 which followed, and all the way through civilian light aircraft of the 20s and 30s, the, the Moth series. Okay, here's John coming back from the left. stuff is it is such a glorious airplane and so good to have uh, a jet fighter on the airfield or participating in the